all about beauty. Right, exactly. And what I and I and you'll probably be able to go on this a little mm -hmm. bit more, but I always tell them that you know, what kind of bait you're using is what kind of fish mm -hmm. you're going to catch. Exactly. And I remember the night that I met my husband, and mm -hmm. he is absolutely gorgeous, but mm -hmm. it wasn't, that wasn't what attracted me to him. Mm -hmm. I went in the bathroom to freshen my makeup, mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit said to me, what are you doing? I mm -hmm. said, man, God, didn't you see him? I need He goes, yeah. he doesn't even see you. Wow. And what he was telling me is, Carolyn, if you try to start what I've started in the spirit and finish right. it in the flesh right. by making it about you, and yeah. that's what we've got to get to yeah. these girls is exactly. God will bring you that man. I'm four foot eleven. I don't right. know how taller you are, <laughs> but he'll yeah. bring you that right. man who's going to love your little two foot legs exactly. there, and he's going to love your little exactly. chubby whatever, or he's going to love your little yeah. skinny this yeah. because he's going to be attracted to you right. because of what's in your right. heart. Exactly. That really is what true beauty is. You, I'm yeah. so fired up about what you're doing. Oh. Oh, now you have a website now that people, mm -hmm. it's almost building a community together mm -hmm. of people, right? Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Young women from all over the country, all over the world are saying, I want to be among the few in this generation that live a set-apart life for Christ. I don't want to just Amen. have it be about the mall and guys and magazines and movies. I want it to be about something more than that. And they're finding fulfillment in an intimate relationship with Christ. And they're allowing that intimacy to transform their lives. And, and just like you said, even in their dating relationships and that whole part of their life, because they're finding their fulfillment in Christ, they're allowing His beauty to transform them. That He's really the source of all beauty. We really have no beauty in and of ourselves. All yeah. we can, all we can muster up is a propped up kind of you know <laughs> fake beauty on the outside. But it's what's inside that's going to last for all of eternity. And He's the only one who can give us that radiance that 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 we long for. We, every woman wants to be a princess. I just went to Disneyland right. with my kids and all these little girls walking around these princess dresses. You know, it's kind of ingrained in us to be beautiful, but we're born into sin and ugliness, and until we realize that only Christ can make us beautiful, then we'll always be trying to achieve that impossible standard. So this is an online community of young women who are saying, my life is completely surrendered to Jesus Christ Amen. in every aspect. And they're just finding that fellowship to realize that they're not alone. There are girls all over this generation who want more. And the, the inner beauty is what, what is most important. You know, that, oh, exactly. The world, again, looks at the outer beauty as, as the thing, but it's the inner beauty that... Yeah, I, in the book I write about um, a, a real-life interview that I read with a Victoria's Secret supermodel. And she said in, in this interview with GQ magazine, she said, everything about me is fake. You know, I've had every possible fake, artificial everything done to be able to look this way. And she said, even my heart is fake, which was oh, such, such an, it, it's so sad and it's such an illuminating thing because she, ha she can get any guy she wants, you know, of, of that, the worldly kind of guy. She, she's on every magazine cover, you know, everyone wants to be her friend. She's got the world's, uh, you know, standard and everything that girls think that they want in the world and yet she's empty and she's hollow inside. And I contrast that with another young woman who left her home at the age of 20, gave up pursuits and dreams and family and friends and went to the walled city of Hong Kong, just this square block of filth and depravity and drugs and prostitution and poured out her life for the most destitute people in the world. And when I contrast those two women, this woman who poured out her life, even though she's, you know, she hasn't had all the comforts that we're used to, she has true beauty. It's radiant. It just flows and effervesces from her. Yeah. That's what young women are truly seeking, and, and we're seeking it in the wrong place when we look to the ways of the world. Yeah. Well, God said what is true beauty to him is someone who has a gentle and quiet spirit. Right. It's someone who is at peace with themselves. They're at peace at where they're going. Right. And so many times we get so busy wasting so much energy trying mm -hmm. to be what the world wants us right. to be exactly. instead of getting busy being what God wants us to be and mm -hmm. use our life to be cuddlers yes. and to be, you know, <laughs> to build orphanages yes. and to feed hungry people and to reach yes. out. That's what we want to encourage young girls right. and young boys to be doing. Make your life count exactly. now. Exactly. You're not too young. You're right. not too old. Yeah, Make your I, life count for Christ. We've, we've really made the mistake in Christianity of trying to coddle and entertain young people and make them think, oh, Christianity is hip and cool and let's make it all fun. And of course there's joy and there's fun in being a Christian. But our life is not about us, and, and I think that's the real danger that I see a lot of young women falling, a lot of Christian young women falling into yeah. that trap, not understanding that 
Our life is meant to be poured out for Christ, and only then can we find true fulfillment. You know, there's need, staggering need all around the world, and I write about this in the book. I write about women throughout history who have made a world-changing impact for Christ simply by yielding to him. They didn't have anything special in themselves, but they offered their, their whole entire lives on the altar before him. So I write about Gladys Aylward and Amy Carmichael and Catherine Booth and these women who shaped history because of the power of Christ in them because they were willing to give up all the pleasures and pursuits and enticements of the world mm -hmm. for a life of poured out devotion to Christ. <clears throat> and then I encourage young women that they can start right now living that kind of life. Yeah. And there are 143 million orphans around the world. There Amen. are 27 million human slaves around the world today, 2 million children in slave prostitution. Even in our own country, we've got staggering need with, with uh, fatherless children and homeless people. And, and when we open our eyes and turn outward and say, Lord, how do you want to use my life to bring glory to your name? We will find that there is a great adventure lying in store for us. We don't need to run out to, <clears throat> excuse me, we don't need to run out to see the latest movie to gain excitement in our life because our life is meant to be an adventure with him. And the truth is they don't need to run out and get the latest fashion because as soon as you wear it once and you hang it up in your closet, it looks it's old. Out, exactly. It's out of fashion. It's out of fashion, <laughs> not yeah. fast. But boy, doing it God's way, it doesn't go out of fashion and exactly. it brings true contentment right. in your life. It's exactly. awesome. I'll tell you, Leslie, I don't know how you and Eric ever, I mean, <laughs> you both have such passion for what you're doing. It's kind and... of a problem in our home. <laughs> <laughs> we have a little too much sometimes. Well, again, the name of the book is um, uh, Set Apart Set Femininity. Apart femininity. Yeah. And it's going to be available when? In September. In September. So, it's coming yes, out and it'll be available in Christian bookstores. Online? Yes, AuthenticGirl.com or SetApartGirl.com is my website. And so for young women who are hungry for more of this, want to connect with other young women like-minded, that's a great resource. Yeah. Okay, well, sounds great. And as a grandfather, I'm glad you're there. Thank uh, you. Because <laughs> I, I know the young kids today, more than ever, need mm -hmm. something like this. Thank to, you. to be focused on. Thank you for writing this booklet. Oh, thank you and for having me. And we appreciate me. you being here with us today. And again, uh, passion. Passion. <laughs> they it's are life so full of it. It's uh, so, addicting. It really, really is. Well, thank you for being here with us today. And if you ever go back to Central Florida, let us know. Okay, sounds okay? good. We'd love Thanks. to have you again.